everyone, Rob Orgel with Spartan Armor Systems. Today we're going to be taking a look at the ballistic dummies and engaging them with 9mm and 5.56. First, let me introduce you to Mike Pena. Hello everybody, I'm Mike Pena. I'm a 22 year critical care paramedic with seven tours overseas and a lot of time in the city. Well, let's shoot some dummies. Sounds good to me. So 9mm at 13 feet, that's no joke. Mm -hmm. That hurt. Looks like we got impact right there. Entry right at the top of the helmet. All right, so if I hold right there. So yeah, you can see this is where they drill the hole in these things to assemble them. And then above that's where the strike happened, right which is right in here. And there's no damage. I don't see any broken ribs or anything. No. But you can imagine with that impact, the way it's gonna hit the chest and go through the body, it's gonna hurt. Oh, there was a shockwave. But there's no impact, no broken ribs, no bleeding. So he probably got knocked down. Yeah, that's gonna put him down, but again, still in the fight. Very much so. Probably, you know, he's hurting. That looked like a good punch. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, let's see what happens if we hit him five times. Sounds good. So that was some abuse. I took it good. Five rounds to the chest at that distance. One, two, three, four, five. And there's the previous. Yep. Let's see what happened on the backside. He shook quite a bit when we were shooting him. Okay. Yeah, nothing made it through. I don't see any no. broken ribs. On the body itself, no broken ribs, no penetration. That's definitely gonna ruin your day, but it won't cancel Christmas. So this guy's not exactly a human. Right. He's close and he's the best we've got. So could it have broken ribs? Maybe? Possibly. You do have some pressure behind those. So although this is a good anatomical representation, it does not provide the exact physiological um, assets of a body. So um, it might have some pressure waves in there, but from right now, it looks like it's still intact. Three hundred and twenty-five <laughs> grains from a fifty AE. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> All right, bro. What do, what do we see here, buddy? Well, I'll tell you what. The Desert Eagle does not play. Look at that back face deformation. That hurt. That hurt. He's got broken ribs. Yes, he does. Right but the bullet's the still in here. The bullet's in there. As you can see, there is nothing that came through this webbing. This guy is going to the hospital. Yeah, that uh, definitely hurts more than a bumbled bee. And there's the round still in there. Yes, it is. So it fully contained that bullet. I mean, as, as devastating as a 50 AE is, as cool as it is, it got defeated by Spartan Armor. Right. And although the bullet didn't penetrate all the way through to cause all the massive bleeding, we have broken ribs. Um, there's going to be a lot of internal damage. And he could have had a broken rib going to a lung. He could be in serious trouble. Absolutely. I mean, this guy's in some serious trouble, unfortunately. In this demonstration, we're going to use the Ares Level 4 plate from Spartan Armor Systems. As compared to the Hercules, this is lighter and more durable of a plate. After we impact it with a 5.56 five, round, we'll come down range and look at what that recipient felt, what that experience was like, and if he was able to stay in the fight. So it looks like we hit about high center on this guy. Let's take a look and see what happened here. So the Ares with the boron carbide strike face absorbed the whole round. You can feel it kind of mushed and retained all of it. I did. And the back face, I mean, there is very little deformation. You can feel it, you really can't see it. Nope. So it took that shot real well, and this guy stayed in the fight. Yeah, dissipated over everywhere. It's going to suck to fill it, but he's still in the fight. Let's hit it with a fast five. Sounds good. So what's nifty about this is you can see there's a hard strike plate on the front here, and then there's a polyethylene back that catches it. And the hard strike plate breaks up the round. You can see where it like clusters around here. And that's with each one of those impacts. It spread it out as it broke it down and they got totally captured by the, uh, the polyethylene. Go ahead and pull that off for me. And what we'll look for is back face deformation. So we get an idea of what this guy felt. Okay, there's some good right. dimples on there. He felt that. What, he, what did he experience, you think? He definitely felt that. That's going to hurt, and it's going to hit in a few places, 
but he's still able to stay in the fight. No broken bones, it's just it's gonna hurt a lot. So he might be winded, you know, solar plexus, has been punched in the chest Absolutely. several times. So instead of falling to the ground, and even if you do fall to the ground from the amount of energy this guy got from essentially a burst from an M249 at 13 feet, which is gonna suck, instead of quitting the combat attitude of, I'm still in the fight, I can still make it, I've got fight in me, and even though I might feel like I can't breathe and I'm dying, I can still end the threat in front of me. Because when we talk about that tactical medicine, the TCCC, tactical is first, right? Absolutely. The number one priority is gonna be? Gain fire superiority. Beat the bad guy from putting more mechanism of injury inside of you. Exactly, we need to win that fight. 100%. So, he's fine, he just doesn't know it right now. Yeah, it's taking a couple of hits from Mike Tyson, but he's still in the fight. You did well, Bob, thank you. So here we can see the multiple strikes and where it received that round, broke it down, and it was absorbed by the polyethylene backer. So as we cut this open, you can see there's this soft padding which protects it in case it falls forward or gets striked by something. There's this hard boron carbide, and this is sacrificial. So this breaks down the bullet for you, but then it also breaks down itself. And then it's caught by the polyethylene behind it. So unlike the Spartan Armor System's steel armor that can take several hits in the same place, this is going to degrade. So if you stack rounds on rounds, you will eventually get penetration. It's important to know the trade-offs when you're selecting your body armor. The steel being heavier, but can take many more impacts, and this being substantially lighter but you can't stack bullets on bullets as always mike thanks for coming out sharing your experience if you found this video to be entertaining and educational please like comment and subscribe help us beat that algorithm so we can afford more dummies if you're looking for body armor or kits check us out at spartanarmorsystems.com so the spartan armor defeated everything we shot at it and that really wasn't very fun to watch so let's be honest we know what you want to see